Welcome back everyone to more Secret of the Silver Blades. Just got done in the training hall. We got Ember Dew leveled up to level 11. Cairo and Lilith leveled up to 10 and got Bestow Magic and or Bestow Curse and Remove Curse. Uh, and Fidget also leveled up a fighter level. Halls of Training. We have uh, Plate Mail, plus one on Ronstock, Ember, and Fidget. Or no, I actually left Fidget with the plus five other armor because it's the same as plus one plate. I went ahead and gave Clot the other plate. And Ember Dew has some plate. This means we could probably sell the uh, Scale Mail Plus 2. No biggie. I had to remind myself not to sell any gems or jewelry. You do not want to uh, ever do that. Because they weigh less than the serious amounts of gold and platinum that they are worth. So save them and only cash them in when you need to. If not, you'd be dropping lots of platinum like I was in the last game. All right, he's here with a new tale. He talks much of the afternoon and you record it. In journal entry 12. Twas long ago that the old town was a thriving place. The mine was there then too. Folks were ruled by a fellow who worshipped Tyr. He thought the miners were deserving of Tyr's protection. Some of the folks around here say that the temple can still be found. Only those of stout heart should try though. Things buried so long tend to harbor ghosts that don't like disturbing. So apparently there's a temple of Tyr in the mine somewhere. And the old man falls back asleep. Well, we can try testing our might and seeing uh, how much of the well we can get into. The room contains a simple archway that burst into shimmering energy. Do you step through? Yeah, it's shimmering, all right. You've entered the domain of the Well of Knowledge. You hear the clash of arms. Well, at least we have... Uh, an area map here. Welcome to the Well of Knowledge. Let's try not to get too beat up here. Priests and thieves come pouring out of the alleyway to the north of you. Death to the Black Circle, they shout. You hear a shout behind you. Mages and soldier soldiers come charging up from the south. The well is ours, they cry. Duck down. Let them mess each other up. You watch as the implacable enemies crash into each other. The priests have defeated the mages. They turn to attack you. 
Well, it's a much smaller uh, group. I'm assuming. If that's all we have, then I think we're in a good spot. I gotta fix my characters, I forgot. <laughs> but I do like the Headless Mage. It's Mr. Invisible, everyone. Go for it. I'd rather beat up this priest. Come on, man. Think I'm out of darts, y'all. I don't have them equipped. I can always just go with my sling, right? Oh, no. Who the fuck? Man, I can, I'm telling you, clerics can use slings, man. Could have swore they could. Priest is pretty beefcake. Now he's just a shit cake. He's a pancake. Ouch. All right, some good experience. That was not an easy battle, but hey, we got one of them out of the way in the well. The night priest, delirious with pain, is crumpled up against the wall. He babbles, our treasure is safe. The tomb cannot be found in the northern runes. Too dangerous. Fanatic fervor grips his features. Look at that alliteration there. That is good. He continues to babble, and he recorded his journal entry 22. Journal entry. It's even cooler when it comes with a picture. The Black Circle is trying to take our well. They seek the death of a red dragon who holds it in sacred trust. I was ambushed while trying to entice the young dragon from the well. They dragged me here to... To... The Midnight Cleric fades into death. Alright. I'll make a... Different save here. We're now mainly saving on A because I feel like I'm not going to be starting this game over. We have our characters where we want them. All right. Now, we very well may not be able to uh, get very far in here, but we don't know till we try. Uh, I definitely should right now rest and memorize as much resist fire as I can. 
But I'm gonna just wing it. Ooh, a small red dragon's attack. That is so smogish looking. I love it. Love it. All right, we got some baby red dragons. Negative one hit points. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. How, I, I, you probably can't even rest here with all the patrols going around, but we'll see. thing I want to know is do fireballs hurt red dragons in this the answer is yes No treasure. All right. There's two more tiers we need to get through. Let's go ahead and save again. Obviously, we need to get some magic. Let's let's try to pull off some some memorizing. I'm going to go ahead and take a couple of resist fires. Remember, you have to expend the spell to be able to cast it. Dimension door, charm monster. Some good spells there. We get to memorize more now, too. What else do we want? Probably some uh, ice storms, kind of cold. Get them spells, baby. All right. It's pretty lucky. Subadult Red Dragons attack. Well, you know it's in the last tier. Death Incarnate. Gonna go all out with this shit. That did 
didn't do jack shit. <laughs> I wasn't sure how the cone of cold would work, but it was it's more like a ray of a I thought it would go out and spread. Uh, I knew it was going to hit fidget, but I didn't care. A nice little magic missile. Let's give him another one. All right, so far is not seeming too bad, eh? We'll see what they have in store for us here in this last one. Fidget is near death. So, again, we'll go ahead and save and we're going to try to fix. That did not work. Black circle troops attack, and their leader is black. Wait a minute, Cloud Kill is that? No, I'm going to fucking cast it, but, uh... That sucks. Gonna get attacked three times and definitely die. Damn it, could have put it one higher. Fuck me. Alright, maybe we should just try casting our spells here instead. Didn't get very lucky on our rolls there. Let's see what we're up against here. We can always go back to the portal. Well, looks like we're fighting troops either way. Global vulnerability. I 
I got hit, so I can't cast. Can't do shit. to that shit storm. If they choke and they gag from nausea, they're pretty much... I think they're stunned. Was it time to bust out some magic arrows? Go ahead and ready that for the next fight. We also have the scroll of protection from Dragon Breath. It's kind of random to use, but it's a good chance he's going to try to plow someone with breath. Let's well, not have shit to use.
followed by Meiji. Nighty night, bitch. There could be all kinds of good things here, I don't know. Corals. definitely pick up the uh, the darts here two darts That's not a lot of uh, darts, unfortunately. Should have re-upped on my darts. Was not paying attention. Not very smart. Now we definitely need to heal to some sense. And if we can't, we're going to need to retreat. And come back. We got one heal in. It's not that far just to walk back. Step into it. Come out, say, hey, let's encamp. Let's just give. Let's. What the fuck? Red robed assassins? Alright, we should be able to rest after this. Like I said, they give these guys some gnarly hip points. I think the other guy took off. Oh, he's back. Well, this was drawn out way longer than it needed to be.
Okay. Got beat up some more. Get our spells back. Cloud kill not really uh, impressing me. Some cone of cold. So this area is also a hub of sorts, this well of knowledge. You can eventually unlock portals to all the different places, but you have to get to those portals from their end first before it will unlock here. So we'll still have to use the rooms to get around. You have reached the well of knowledge. And there's a big hungry Durgan, with its body circling the well, an ancient red dragon cast a baleful eye on your party. Puny creatures, he growls. You have defeated my blood brood, but you will not take this well from me. It has more gems in one place than anywhere else in the world, and it's mine. The tremendous worm attacks. No. Fucking still in auto mode. Make sure you spread out. Because he will cast his breath. And it will mess you up. Cast it on myself. Oh! Holy shit. 44 damage. That hurts. He doesn't have a shitload of hit points, though, so we're just going to keep pegging away at him. Gotta hit escape while they're attacking anyways. Ronstock decided to finish the deal.
I need to get it to where I can cancel the wrong stock. Anyways, holy shit. 9,000 XP. Big money and big prizes. There's 100 gems. 1,000 platinum and 2,000 gold. There's also a composite longbow potions and braces. It's a potion of speed. Braces of armor class 4. The tremendous reptile lies dead at your feet. The well is open to you. There is a great flash of light. You hear distant screams from all over the well area. The well places the knowledge in your mind that you will now be safe anywhere in the well area. The well implies that it knows about your mission and explains how it can help you. You take the information and record it as journal entry 25. The miner's plight mask a more serious threat. Should the Black Circle succeed in its plans, the entire realm will feel the result. The mages seek the awakening of the Dreadlord, an evil and incalculable power. He sleeps within his castle, trapped within the glacier. The Circle has reached the dungeons and are melting their way upward. The monsters trapped in the dungeons are being released and allowed to harry the miners. My powers are subject to laws you cannot understand. I am privy to information only at certain times and only when you sacrifice gems. Still, seek me out when you have questions. My powers are at your disposal. My teleporters are paired. Each teleporter that rings me has a brother somewhere in the valley. Until you visit both gates, you may not use that pair. To my northwest is the gate which connects to the new town. My power fades. Return to me with gems when you have more questions. Well, we just got 100 gems, and I don't think we're going to be hurting for money, so maybe we should feed the well. Do we give it some? Well, yes. There's an object which you must have in order to complete your quest. The well explains, and you record it. As journal entry 19. I guess it automatically takes 100 gems. Yep. And yeah, I could have just read this to you and cheated. And kept the gems, but trying to play fair here. Know now of the amulet of Eldemar, stolen long ago. It was taken by a wily thief who held it but for a day. As he dreamed of wealth, he fell victim to a red dragon. Kin to the one you slew to free me. The amulet now adorns the dragon's horde, which lies in the southwestern corner of the city. The map starts at the entrance to the new town. Follow the path. A parchment scroll rises from the pool. You see that it contains a map that shows the location of the dragon's horde. You take the map and you record it as journal entry 1. There's another smaller red dragon that guards another treasure in the northern area of the ruins. I do not know specifically where he is. Powerful force pushes you out of the well area. Okay, let's read journal entry one and continue. So journal entry one is the map to the dragon's horde. It actually shows you a portion here, which you may have or may have not mapped out a bunch by yourself. But it actually shows you the path from... New Verdigree all the way to the Dragon Horde here. Pretty nifty. Alright, probably a good idea to camp. And also equip our new ship.
Kyrule's at two armor class with the AC6. Well, let's trade that to Lilith then. Trade, select. She is uh, unfortunately at armor class six, but this is going to remedy that and bring her down to zero. Which is good. All right. The gate is dead and lifeless. The opposite end has not been opened. We're going to have to go back through New Verdigree. And I had a feeling we were going to get attacked. Whenever you come back into New Vertigree, uh, until certain events happen, you're going to continually get attacked once. And then after that, you are allowed to rest. You can never get attacked more than once. Hey, Jesus Christ, I'm glad I just saved. Damn it, you stop. I don't know how to get out of that. I need to look up the. I accidentally put my guys into auto attack. Hitting Q on accidentally there. Okay, I got Ronstock back. I think Spacebar might do it. Time to fuck shit up with Ember Dew and Ronstock. Well, they got some line of sight going on there. Respect.
Give me that treasure. We're going to probably get a level out of this little escapade here. Hopefully we can rest okay now. Test my theory here. All right, we don't necessarily need Dragon Busters anymore. Confusion's a great spell. When you get this high level, you don't uh, get to roll dice anymore. So hit points aren't really random. You just get a set amount of hit points. For instance, fighters, paladins, rangers get, I think, plus three every level. Um, everyone else gets two and a one. So you can't get too crazy powerful. In other words, our hit points are not going to jump up a whole whole bunch here. Stay a while and listen. Once heard tell about the impressiveness of an old town. There was a great castle at the head of the valley. The south of the mine was the old government house. It was a large place, richly decorated, where affairs of state were conducted. It was built stoutly, so it should still be standing. Good loot, no doubt. If you can stand the ghost of clerks and bean the counters. I thought he told us this shit already. All right, we've got to keep talking to the old man no matter what. Even if he's repeating himself. I think I'm prepared. Not enough experience. Level 10 Claire, give it to me. She should get some new spells here. Flame strike. Gotta go with the big heels. The spell magic is uh, gonna be helpful as well. Let's ID our shit. So when you're selling stuff, you can always tell if it's magical or not. You can tell right away that that mace is magical by the amount of gold it's worth. That plate is standard. Dagger is not magical. So we have plenty of money. We can just pay the 100 to ID stuff. The plus two mace, that means we're going to want to give that to Clot. It's a regular crappy shield. 
Uh, you can tell that is magical plate mail. Matter of fact, it looks to be plus one and a plus two-er. If I had to guess off that price. Well, no one else can wear that. My, uh, when I put my guy into quick attack, he <laughs> equipped a plus two mace in the shield. He went for the defensive measure. I'd rather keep with my hellbird for now. Because that is going to go to... Clap. <laughs> I think we can sell that scale mail. No need for that longbow. So yeah, two plus two maces. We'll go ahead and sell this one. We'll ready one and we'll sell a plus two. Let's grab some darts for our mages. Just went ahead and shared all the money to kind of spread it out of course that really weighs down our other guys Still has nine movement. She only has six. Fidget has 12. Yes, we want to go back and get the money. Uh, you take 2,000. Okay, that didn't slow him down. Let's have him take another 2,000. Got the strength. That slowed him down. We'll have to figure this shit out later. I need to go turn this money into gems. Townsman walked by and shot encouragement. Let's using this uh, little map here that we found. 
See if we can go find this other mean dragon. Still no map here as far as having an overhead map. You find a piece of paper and you grab it and record it in your journal as entry 57. Marcus, our plans proceed as well as can be expected. It is unfortunate that the Red Dragon has taken the Well of Knowledge. The Red Wizards may support us if they think we are after the Well. We will keep our real target to ourselves. We are using a contact in Flan as a middleman. In turn, he has sent a clerk to take care of communications. She has no knowledge of our real intent. We are running out of some spell components, especially bat guano and sulfur. When is the next shipment due? Maintain contact by standard means. One final note, rumor indicates that the mayor has brought together a new force to clear the mines in the well. We are concerned. Reply with the information as soon as possible. Got turned ass backwards here. Is this the L room? This looks like the L room. Not plagued with too many monsters here nowadays. The black circle attack. Well, we're going to need to get to that mage, so... Should be able to leave arrows equipped. Ballsy move, but I don't want that mage casting shit. Sleep is just too weak, I think, right now. It's, it's only going to work on creatures of a certain hit dice and these guys are all too strong so we might as well get rid of sleep I don't think it's gonna be of any of any help to us unfortunately Totally forgot to buy darts, goddammit. <laughs> right after saying I need to buy darts. Son of a bitch. That's alright. I'll get everything nice and prepped for the next video. We're not going to make it to the Durgan in this one.
Wow, the triple attack on Fidge. Keep stealing darts, anyways. See an arrow pointing north. All right, folks, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Stay tuned for more Secret of the Silver Blades.